All right, hello and welcome. This is a Tyranno Builder game. Uh, it has a background image, it has sounds, music, it has this 3D model. Often they have 2D pictures of characters, but this one has 3D models. It doesn't matter, the method I'm going to show you is going to work for all Tyranno, uh, Tyranno Builder games. So if you have made a game in Tyranno Builder and for some reason lost your project files and only have the exe build that you want to recover from, or if you are a fan and would like to create some fan art or a mod or a fan game, then, depending on your jurisdiction or with permission from the developer, you can also get the files from the game. You can identify Toronto Builder games by the icon. There's a little character in a dragon head costume, uh, just like in the Toronto Builder logo, banner, mascot. All right, so this is the file that contains all the files. You can pretty much guess it by the file size. This is 123 megabytes out of a total of 147. So this is the file we're targeting. You cannot simply extract it, unfortunately. It doesn't contain anything useful. Yeah, 7-zip just fails. But there is this tool, Arc Unpacker. Uh, get it from this site. I will guess I'll put the link in the comments. On the release page, you will be able to download the... Scroll, scroll... Okay, here. Uh, Arc Unpacker dash minus whatever the current version is. You probably want to use the newest. Just click it, it'll download. Very small file. Okay, so just open this up. And you don't even have to extract everything. Just copy the uh, Arc Unpacker file and paste it where the uh, game files are. So here is the Unpacker, here is the game. And now, and now hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Shift, the one that makes letters big. Hold down Shift and then right click with the mouse. Right click, okay? Also make sure you click on the white stuff, not on one of these icons, not on one of these files. That will not work. Instead on the white stuff between them. Shift right click and now open PowerShell or whatever is here above new. Open PowerShell, maybe open CMD, something like that. And this kind of window will appear. Let me resize this a little so we can see the files. And here you have to write the following. Arc Unpacker, so let's type in ARC and now I'm just going to press the tab key. It will autocomplete to dot backslash arc unpacker dot exe. Now make sure there is a space. Now type in the following dash dash dec equal sign and microsoft slash exe so minus minus dec equal microsoft slash exe 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 all lowercase now write another space and now you have to write the name of the exe file of the game in this case it's uppercase h o and i'm gonna just press tab because no other file starts with h o and here we go it autocompletes including quotes. Very useful for file names with spaces. So now I'm just going to press enter and it starts extracting and I think it already finishes actually. Yep, executed 51 tasks at 0.26 seconds. That was nice. Okay, I can close this window and now let's go into this folder that was created. It is based on the file name of the exe file of the game. Let's go in here and in here we're going to find many files. Simply sort by size. And now just pick the extra data file and uh, we're just gonna cut it. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna right click here and paste. And this file we can simply add a zip ending. So if I right click rename or press F2, I can simply uh, type dot zip at the end. Now it's a zip file. Now I can simply right click extract all or use 7zip if you have that. I'm gonna use extract all which is probably more prevalent. Okay, and now I'm just going to press extract. And this might take a little bit. Seems to be tightly compressed. Well, and here we are. Okay, let's take a look at what we can find in here. I'm just going to enable big icons. So HG, I'm a bit confused by finding that. That's uh, like Mercury project uh, description stuff. I don't know what this is here. There's a data folder. This contains most of the stuff you're interested in. There's a Toronto folder, which I guess contains either the engine or maybe the game code. You will have to figure that out on your own. Uh, so let's take a look at data because this is where your files are. If this is your game you're trying to restore. So the most interesting one. Data. Okay, we have background images here. Basically just background images. Then we have a BGM. This is background music. We have FG image. This is where characters would be if the game has any characters. In this case, nope. Then we have image, which contains, I guess, images. In this case, buttons, but also other stuff. Then there's others. We're going to take a look at this in a second. There's scenario, which contains KS files. I'm not exactly sure what these are. 
if we take a look at them at notepad they look like uh, somewhat comp complicated files that are probably auto generated by the engine so i'm not sure if this is useful then we have sound files which are just sound files then we have system files which again i'm not sure if this is useful if we take a look it seems to be a config file all right i guess it's just uh, defaults you can change then we have video in this case there is no video files in this project so this is empty but let's take a look at others this contains in free actually 3d models so in assets we can find obj files which is impressive we can simply uh, run blender and load one of these files in there uh, let me just copy the path and just open the obj file all right here is one of the characters and impressively the textures will get loaded automatically pretty pretty good yep so you can actually get the 3d models also all right, let's uh, get out of here. And uh, in model, there's alternative kinds of formats. There's textures as well. So UV maps are in here. Uh, SPH, I'm not sure what that is. You will have to figure out details here or just ask in the comments. I'm sure people in the comments will be discussing uh, the individual file types. PXM looks familiar. We'll talk about this in the comments. For now, we're focused on extracting the files, not on the individual file formats used in the engine. VMD as well. Ah, so many familiar file types. I'm not exactly sure what they are though. VPD. Well, this is it anyways. So this is how you get um, all these files extracted from a Toronto Builder game. Please give this video a like. Please subscribe to this channel to support it. I will hopefully see you in the next video or if you have questions I will read your comment and hopefully I will have an answer or maybe somebody else already answered it and then I will just point that out. So don't worry about asking things that were already asked. So until next time, ciao!